Hello and welcome to Scrap Time. My name is Christine and today I want to show you how I put together the memories of our last trip to Disney. I have shown you previously how I documented it using the dilutions system, the dialogue system, but now I want to show you my finished uh, book. Now I no longer do scrapbooking but of course I still like to do memory keeping and I love photo books because they're small, they don't take up much space, and I can put in piles of photos in here. And so I just want to show you. Now, I'm in Canada and we I get mine printed at a company called Photo In Press. And I really like them. You, as you see, the uh, photos have a nice quality to them and they are very quick. So that's the company I use. But if you're in the States or another country, I'm sure you have lots of uh, choices to get photo books made. This is more about why I like a photo book. So this time I decided I was going to do all my journaling up front. And instead of going day by day, because we move around a lot, I, it, I did my journaling more general. I talked about where we stayed. I talked about the Magic Kingdom, um, each of the parks and what we did. So it's not by day, it's just an overall uh, view of our trip and I also put it at the front so then in the when I got to the photos I only put photos so I found this to be a lot quicker than having to journal throughout the book so what I love about these photo books is as I said the f colors are great on them but you have so many options to photos so here I have four on a page and I started with the Polynesian because that's where we stayed first and now I'm moving into all of my Magic Kingdom photos. I find that you end up taking the same photo each time you go to the park like you know I always have photos of the train station and the entry so I just pick some of my favorites and added it too. I also here got there's a big photo with three smaller ones so and then here's a big photo with two so you can see when you're doing photo books, you have so many options. So if there's a picture you really like, you can highlight it and then have smaller photos along the way to beside it. So there's a couple other layouts. Here we have six photos and depending if you have vertical or horizontal photos, of course, it will give you some different layouts. Then on this page here, I fit in, let's count, three, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 photos. So I like that I can have all 14 photos. It takes up one page rather than pages and pages if you were putting them into a photo album or a scrapbook. And the option of having the big and small photos, I really like. So now we're moving into the evening photos while we're at, uh, at the Magic Kingdom and some fireworks. And then we attended an after hours party. So on this side here, I'm starting with my photos um, from the party. These, almost all of these were photos from the Peter Pan line. I never wait in line for Peter Pan. And so on the night when we could just walk through the attraction, I was able to finally go and check it out. So I took a bunch of photos. Here's all from Haunted Mansion. More nighttime castle photos. And just some photos from around the park at night. This is a combination of some photo pass photos and then photos we have taken. Um, all these were taken on our phones. We didn't bring a DSLR or anything. So now we're moving on to Epcot. So I've posted all my Epcot photos together. You can see the beautiful colors that um, you get. We like to take pictures of uh, Spaceship Earth. Where the, we always make faces and stuff, so we add that in as to remember. And then Gemma likes to make the cars on Test Track. And it was the Flower and Garden Festival, so I put pictures of different topiaries. And then you can get magic shots and they add the little orange bird and stuff to your photos. So that's always fun. Here's another example of how I was able to fit a lot of photos in on one page. Because 
I liked them all, but they didn't all need to be large. And now we're moving into the nighttime at Epcot. And now we're at the studios. So we have just a bunch of photos. We've took around the studios. Again, combination of this photo pass photo with my photos. Another photo pass photo. And then we're moving on to Animal Kingdom. This is all Pandora pictures. So you take so many pictures someplace and you're like, I don't know how to decide which ones to print. So here I'm able to print them all because you can do them all different sizes and it just takes up one page or two pages or three pages. It carries on, but you don't, you're just fitting them all on. You don't, you're not printing hundreds of photos like loosely. Safari. Now here, I could have written something in here. I didn't have a photo to place there, so I just left it open. And then my nighttime photos at Pandora. So next up, I've got photos of Disney Springs. We had done, uh, we made this little Mickey cake when we were there, and then some of the shops. and the restaurants. Now I've put in some photos from the boardwalk when we stayed there. So photos around the boardwalk, our evening ice cream. And so you know the boardwalk photos are gonna be ending soon because I've got a sunset going on. Yeah, and then uh, mini golf. Then we went to City Walk at Universal to visit the Chocolate Emporium. So I have some photos from City Walk and we did mini golfing. So I just picked some of my favorite photos from the mini golf and put them on a double spread. And then we did some painting at Bay Lake. So I had some photos from Bay Lake here. From Bay Lake, we went over to Fort Wilderness. So I added those in. And then food, you take pictures of food throughout your entire trip, right? Food, food, food. So this way I'm able to fit 15 food pictures on a page and then I could just lay them out and we sort of know where it was or what we had. I don't need to write all beside it. It's just like, oh yeah, look at that food. Because when you have this many food pictures, what is one going to do? Well, this is a great way. You still have your photos but they didn't take up that much space. Then these are photo pass photos from the ride, so I put them all together. We're the type of people that know, typically know where the camera is on the ride, so we try to do something such as like pretend we're just sitting looking on our phone and whatever, or some just get funny. The, um, the Hollywood Tower Hotel photos are always really funny. Not necessarily what we're doing, but what the people around us are doing, especially if someone's screaming or crying. Yes, we, we think it's funny, I'm sorry. And then I put together all our character photos, all in one area. And I ended the or our book because we ended the trip at the Grand. So I thought that's how I would end our book. And we have just pictures from around in the lobby and around the Grand and from our window. And we were lucky to see when we were leaving the uh, Cinderella carriage and there was a bride and we thought that was so pretty. Dreams, goals. Gemma would love to have that for her wedding. And so we ended up with that. And then I think, oh, we have fireworks that we watched while we were at the Grand. 
So this just shows you another way to organize a trip. You don't always have to do it day by day. What do we do every day? This time I decided to just do an overall trip. What some thoughts we had on the trip and what we did and put all our photos together. And again, photo books are great just because they have a nice size and you can fit so many photos in here without taking up books and books and books. And as well, it took me really uh, quick to put it all together and then I was done. I'm not scrapping, scrapbooking for the next three years, a trip that we did long ago. So that just hopefully will give you some idea um, to for memory keeping the next time you take a trip. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in, in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.